Disabilities Awareness Month, and several upstate businesses are coming together to show support. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg at Bond Street Good Wines. Good morning. I mean, is there any better way to start a Friday morning than like at a wine shop downtown Spartanburg? Hey, it's really important you get here today too. Come join me, not right now, but in just a couple hours, they will be open having happy hour a little bit later. I'm sure for us it's continual, but today it helps the Charles Lee Center Foundation. Marissa Cecil's here, executive director. She's going to tell us more. More than 60 businesses across Spartanburg are helping. They're having fundraisers, gatherings proceeds and hoping you come support developmental disabilities awareness month that's March so March. exciting okay so tell me a little bit about what some of the funds the money the donations go toward at the Charles Sure. Center. well first of all thank you so much to all of our businesses who are partnering with us this Yay. year we have over 65 businesses last year it was 30 and all the money stays local right here in Spartanburg County and it helps our 1500 individuals with special needs and disabilities. How does it help them? It helps them thrive in the communities right here in Spartanburg where they live, work and play. So that's quality of life, right? That's an occupation mm -hmm. that's feeling comfortable in their own skin. What do you need people to do today and for the next month, right? Absolutely. So today is Bond Street Wine. Wee, where we are. Right where we are along with Rufus D. Lewis Jeweler and then Inside Irwin's is today and tomorrow. So just going out supporting local. It's a win-win for both organizations and the money again stays local. Very good. Spend money 60 plus businesses. I'm going to put them all at WSPA.com. Give me just a few minutes because I'm guess I'm going to have to have glass first, right? I mean, that's what you do at five in Cheers. the morning, right? <laughs> so she's got the right idea. Much more this morning as you join us here at Bond Street Wines all morning in Spartanburg and you come here later today, right guys? Send it back to you. Are you, are you my head? <laughs> so, oh, so Omar, what do you do for a living? I work with technology at the Charles Lee Center. What kind of title work do you do? Director of Innovations. Um, so, uh, what goes on with your career? Uh, I get to bring cool technology to everyone at the center. What do you do with clients? Um, I introduce the technology to their homes and their lives. Glad to hear that. Yes. My name is Marissa Cecil and I'm the president of the Charles Lee Center Foundation. The Charles Lee Center Foundation supports over 1,500 individuals with special needs and disabilities so that they can thrive in the communities where they live, work, and play. Our mission is to raise awareness about the center and to provide funds primarily from the private sector to assist the center's mission of improving the life for children and adults right here in Spartanburg County with intellectual disabilities and or chronic medical conditions. During the pandemic, the lack of personalized connection with our individuals we serve and our community partners has been the most challenging. Due to the pandemic, our programs were closed along with several other services. Friends and community partners have offered in many ways to help ensure the continuation of enhancing the quality of life for our neighbors with special needs and disabilities. And we are inviting you to join us in the spirit of this Giving Tuesday by helping us send 20 local children with special needs and disabilities to Camp Hope through the Brian Lawrence Scholarship. Your contribution will give smiles, friendship, and hope through a camp at which costs $450 for an individual. We encourage our community partners to become advocates for those we serve, not only right here in Spartanburg County, but for our entire country. We need folks who believe in our mission, who can help us spread awareness through funding, volunteer efforts, and more. It is truly a collaborative effort. My name is Jack Lawrence, and this is my wife, Kay. We set up the Brian Lawrence Memorial Fund over 20 years ago in memory of our son who used to love to go to Camp Hope during the summer. We hope you can join us by giving on Giving Tuesday for the Brian Lawrence Memorial Fund. Thank you. All right, can you hit the agree button?
pretty good at this, Mike. Good job. You successfully completed your task. Click next. Thank you. Next. Go stand in front of the forklift, Mike. See what happens. Good job, Mike. I'm glad you shared thoughts with me about Charles Lee's Center. It's important for people with disabilities to have experiences and opportunities for independent living. Do you or anyone in your family have autism? Do you or your loved ones have intellectual disabilities? I'm a grown man who was born with autism. I was diagnosed with autism when I was three years old. Do any of you feel safe or feel dangerous out in the community? If you feel unsafe, contact your parents, your mentors, and your Charles Lee Center directors. Before you go out to have fun, make sure you're ready to act responsibly by thinking first about you, about who you are, what to do, where to go, when is it a good time, why is this important, and how you figure out what you are going to do. We are all in this together, so just remember mentors and clients. Oh, that's such a good feeling. That's such a good, such a good feeling. feeling. You're alive and such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up, ready to go. I think I'll make it a happy feeling. It's such a good feeling. Very good feeling. Feeling you now know that we're friends. You always make yourself a special day. People who give the money to make Mr. Hack's neighborhood are the people who contribute to this and other PBS stations, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and Charles Lee Center. We thank you 